Yesterday, social media giant Instagram began hiding likes and video views as part of a trial aimed at removing pressure from its users. And the move, which has been rolled out in seven different countries, including Ireland, Italy and Australia, was done to encourage users to focus on sharing the things they enjoy without fear of judgement. But as Sam react to the change of criticism, we're joined by Real Housewives of Cheshire star Dawn Ward alongside her daughter Taylor, who left her job in fashion to become a social media influencer. And also with us now is self-confessed technophobe uh, Vanessa Feltz, who has refused to create a single social media account. Welcome to all of you. Hi. Welcome Techno to I can't believe that, Vanessa. You're a proper technophobe. Yeah, I've got an eight-pound phone. I've never sent an email, received one. I've never Googled. See, I think I'm the only person still using directory inquiries in the whole <laughs> country. <laughs> I, I can. I've never watched any porn. I've learned. I know nothing You've, about. Oh this. come on! Terrible. I don't believe that for a minute. No, it's There's true. certain things I can believe, but not that. Because I always think if I ever got online, I'd be the person that's you know showing my bosom to some fellow in Dagenham. So I can't. I just <laughs> okay, can't. Well, don't it. do that. I think don't there's a difference that. from watching it and actually doing it, though, Vanessa. Yeah. But I don't know that. How would I know? I've led a sheltered life, but I, I I can't help thinking that everything about life is so much better without it. With a sim simple eight pound non smartphone, you don't Google, you don't Insta, you don't send messages. You you just live. So well, something, it, if you've got a lovely croissant, you eat it, you share it with someone you love, you, you know, you smear the crumbs all over your lover, mm. you don't take a picture of it. <laughs> yeah. So much better. Well, you know, it actually shocks me that you're so against it, because then you're in this industry, yes. you know, and like Dawn and yourself, Taylor, you know, I've been reading about you both this morning, you, you use that as a, as a tool to promote your business, yeah, I guess, course. right? I just think it's a sign of the times. Um, social media is huge mm -hmm. for advertising now. Like Vanessa said, she still uses director inquiries. <laughs> um, I tend to Google it, to be honest. But, um, but you know, yellow pages, it's a sign of the time and it's moving forward. It was radio stations, TV mm -hmm. commercials. Mm -hmm. It's now social media and you're speaking to a much bigger audience. Uh -huh. A more tailored audience, no pun intended, of course, <laughs> specifically to what you want. Now, talk me through what this impact is going to have on you, Taylor, because you're an influencer, yeah. I mean, which means that you make money from your Instagram account, from what you advertise on your Instagram account. Can I ask how much money you make a month? I think it varies. It's very different. Some months you'll make a lot, other months you probably won't. But we're make talking about thousands much. of pounds. Yeah, so it's definitely. really good living. Yeah, so I what, gave up my nine to five job, job to do this. To do this. As a yeah. Time. So, so Instagram taking away the fact that they're showing likes. Mm -hmm. uh, how is that going to impact on you? I think for me, I work with a lot of clothing brands, and they'll look on my profile, and they'll look which of my posts get the most engagement mm -hmm. as an indication of what it is my followers like seeing. So I think by taking that away, they won't necessarily people are not going to know like what works so well on my feed so for me it's a job but then isn't that something because it does say the whole you know obviously we have they've not tried it here yet and we're expecting to get it possibly but don't they say that you can still see that information so you would know what likes you get and you would mm -hmm. know i guess how well your content's gone down so could you show that to the brands i mean it's, it's getting at the end of the day we've all got to get a grip here we're talking about the word like Mm. That is a positive thing. Mm -hmm. Like, we're not saying it's not, you know, you go on Instagram, you can choose to like something. It's not like YouTube where you can do a thumb up or a thumb down, where you can show a negative thing. Mm -hmm. I think people need to hone more in on the trolling and the things that people are saying on Instagram. The and, negativity. And, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, a like is a positive thing. Why are we trying to put down something that's so, but positive? Let, let, I mean, but, but, but don't you think this applies mainly to people who are not doing it for business or to apply their trade? Obviously, if you're doing mm -hmm. it for business mm -hmm. or you're professional or in the media or whatever, that's one thing. But but most people who are on these, these social media organs, they are desperate for the likes. They're desperately mm. checking to see how many people have liked it and that they've been acknowledged. I'm desperate for the likes. Getting... <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. but, but don't you think, seriously... Well, that's a nice thing. But, don't you, no, but, it is, think, but, but, but it's only nice if you get, get them. them. Yeah. It's not nice if you don't get them. I think regardless of whether you're a social media media influencer or just a normal person, I think it's nice to see each other supporting each other. Mm -hmm. I'll go on Instagram and I like my friends' pictures, not just influencers, just like my friends. What, happens, what happens to the youngsters that are putting out? And they're not even youngsters, some of the adults well, that aren't getting well, likes, exactly. but are desperately they seeing got that. Yeah, and that's life. More. Listen, you haven't, they haven't got as big a so platform. So they just got to deal with it? No, no, I'm not saying just deal content. with it. It's about, I didn't mean to come across like that. Mm. At the end of the day, you know, Taylor's an influencer, I'm on television, so mm -hmm. we've got bigger following than somebody sure. who's course, just going on, on social media. Um, you know, there's lots of people out there that are, are coming up with subjects or starting influencing or, or blogging on Instagram mm -hmm. from nothing, you know. You're always going to get somebody with more likes, with better hair, with 
That is life in yeah. general. But, but don't you and think, I think it's, it's concentrating that you're holding almost in your hand, kind of umbil umbilically connected to you, this, this kind of machine which is telling you, yes, you're an all right person, yes, well, you're okay. You because that is how it then. feels. It gives you a dopamine it's charge when people like no, you. No, it doesn't. It's about. It does. That's exactly what it does. That's why people And if you don't like it, just don't follow. We've all got a choice. to their phones because they love that feeling. I exist. I've been seen. I've been liked. I've been admired. There is somewhat, you know, whether it's your business, you know, we've, you know, Bar Vanessa, you know, every one of us sat on this couch mm. has an Instagram. You know, you're mm. a, you're aware of likes, but I guess it's that feeling. Does, does, does it make you feel good if a picture gets your I business think it's aside? Motivating, yeah, for me as an influencer, I obviously it's important to me. But I think if anything, it's more motivating. Like you say, there's always going to be people with more likes, and mm. I think instead of looking at Likes but, as a negative thing, but from a, but from a self esteem point of view, mm. like your business aside, does it mm. make you does it make you feel nicer? I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I think it makes you feel good. But isn't that the worry? That's that's the if problem. If you're chasing the sort of the, the, the uh, what what sort of let's mm. talk about that rush. The, the I, got massively, I got massively I caught up in it once it when uh, a few months ago when Ben filmed me in the super in the co op actually mm -hmm. in many other supermarkets singing cheerleader and pushing the trolley, and then he you know he, he did whatever he did Posted with it, it tweeted yeah. it, Instagrammed it, whatever the hell you do with these things. And Sally said to me, oh, my God, you know, 4,000, oh, 18,000. Start, I started buying into it. I'm like, oh, how many thousand right. now? How many? 28,000, 62,000. Oh, boy, 84,000. I was like, boy, yeah. this is fantastic. I think... And at the end of it all, it was like, what was the point of it at all? I don't know why it was so exciting, and why, why you I cared want that less. validation. And then at the end of it, it amounted to nothing, not a hill of beans. But interestingly, though, point? Vanessa, your career and your uh, it, through journalism is, yeah. is television and is radio. And undoubtedly, if you break down the, the platform that you broadcast on, which is exactly what the girls are doing, they broadcast digitally on Instagram. Mm -hmm. yeah. You break it down and you find out what your viewing figures are, you find out what your listening figures are, and you get affirmation from that if things are it's working exactly properly. Mm -hmm. And it's, isn't it the just another is, platform that you bro you're broadcasting on a, a, a more mainstream, <laughs> a mainstream platform? <laughs> We've moved and you up. still need that. But you I still need that. Hold it, on a sec. You still need that. But the difference is that's my professional life. But that's their but it's my life. Professional but I'm not life. showing a picture <laughs> of my lunch, my dinner. Because that's not your job. No, but most people are doing that. No, but Vanessa, hold on, hold on. Can I just say that with that? You're a broadcaster, I'm a reality star. I'm showing my life. Don't judge on the content. It's the, it's the platform, isn't it's it? Your profession. platform mm. is radio or television. Their platform is Instagram in this circumstance. But I think it's devastating when you see people's self-esteem rise and fall when you see very young people... Does yours rise and fall with your... But does yours rise and fall with your listening figures going up and down? Uh, I, I, well, I suppose so, but, I mean, I, I suppose I, when people phone me, they're, they're people I know, phoning me on my actual number that I, that I know to speak to. I'm not being judged, I hope, by a whole load of strangers. So, so I, I had a 14-year-old boy with autism yesterday, uh, just started his own business, and I put it on my Instagram. And, you know, cos he's, he's, he wanted to have it... And I just thought that was remarkable. It's a positive mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. to share good, good things. But it's not you, just you, about showing food no, and taking totally pictures not. of when yourself. Used in the, when isn't. used in the right way, social yeah. media is a really powerful thing. Like, like anything, if it's used right. It's do you fun. think that Instagram taking the likes and the views and, you know, almost the popularity contest of it all, them taking that away, do you think that's a good move for our children? I think it's a fantastic move. And I think sink or swim on how you behave and what people think of you that know you and people who care about you and love you. And you know what? But what that, you that will be there anyway. It doesn't mean that you can't go out on a bigger platform and do and, and show and yeah. show show people things, especially from a business point of view, mm -hmm. advertising point of view. And at the end of the day, it, you know, people say, "Are you chasing the likes?" It's a business for us, mm -hmm. but also. It's a good platform to put positive things on. Mm -hmm. And I want to know that. But do people like that? Have they not? Mm. Not because I'm it's almost like a research. It doesn't change my you life. You will know that. No, yeah. Yeah. That's, no, that's exactly. the point. I think Michelle's saying that you will know how many people have liked what you've mm -hmm. said. It's just that we won't be able to see how many people have liked your yeah. posts. But to see, well, to see yeah. people liking things, you click on and think, oh, look at that. What, what is this? But and, you can see and you're it. encouraging people to think, no, other people on other yeah, platforms. Yeah, yeah, but you can I'm see talking. the posts. If you like the posts, you can click on it. Whether you, won't, you just won't know how many other people have clicked on it. I think by taking that down, though, you're dis encouraging people to actually go out there and support each and other. And then I guess for you as a, a nice benchmark, thing. for you to know, oh, this kind of works for that blogger. Or yeah, I guess exactly. that kind of...
that yeah. takes that away mm -hmm. from you. And well, we've had, as you can imagine, lots of people getting in touch. Uh, people Jen, have been posting on our Instagram. People have been, <laughs> yeah, posting socially, <laughs> talking to us. Um, Jenny says, I don't care how many likes I get. I don't post for attention. Go on, yeah. Jenny. Uh, for me, social media is just a bit of fun. It's something I do in my spare time. It's not my whole life. Wendy, I think it's a great idea, but some might now think, what's the point in posting? Um, and Aileen says, a parent in Australia, this is excellent news. There are way too many kids that try to validate themselves exactly. by the number of likes they receive. It's a, it's yes. a, but it's interesting, though, Vanessa, because I just think it's a different platform to broadcast on, regardless of the content. But I think there's a tremendous difference between women like this who are empowered, who are together, who are mm. in business, mm -hmm. who know who they are, who have a great sense of themselves yes. and their identity. You're oozing confidence. Of course, people want to follow you. That's fabulous. But what about all the people who aren't in that position? They're more vulnerable, they're younger, mm -hmm. they're fragile. You but know, their self-esteem isn't established. Well. It's not yeah. and sure. I, and, so and, you and, can and make it's supposed to be not free for children, yeah. but yeah. I mean, it's how I'm thinking it. seriously is that really? police? Well, thank you all very much. Thank you. I'm going to go and find that video of you singing cheerleader in the shop. I want to know. You you as well. We're all about to just check our Instagram, <laughs> aren't we? That's what's going to happen.